Now, today is a very special day here at The Voice of America as we bid a fond farewell to our original music man of Africa, Leo Sarkeesian, an internationally known musician and music icon. Uh, Leo broadcast music for Voice of America in Africa for 47 years. As founder and host of VOA's Music Time in Africa, his music vibe has touched millions of people across the continent. He is loved by many and treasured by all. It is my pleasure to welcome music legend Leo Sarkisian to In Focus. Also joining us today is VOA's New Music Time, uh, rather Music Time in Africa host and Africa music manager Heather Maxwell. Welcome to In Focus. Thank you. Yes. Now, Leo, let's first just talk about then. I mean, how did it all begin? Oh. Briefly, if you can just make it as brief as possible. Well, it happened uh, very easily for me because uh, music and art has been my whole life. And I was very uh, fortunate that uh, uh, coming into the Voice of America, that my work with the Voice of America mm -hmm. has been music and art yeah. all through my entire career. Uh, I recorded music, of course, that was my work, but it, as I uh, worked uh, recording the musicians, I would make sketches and paintings oh. of the musicians. And wow. They were wonderful expressions on their faces. And then even the people in the villages who would be listening to the music and especially the dances, the faces on the dances. That's amazing. Those were the things that inspired me very, yeah. very much. Yeah, that's great. And now over the years you've uh, uh, made such a collection. You've traveled from, uh, to so many different countries yes. in Africa, recorded music. Do you have an idea, like how many countries are represented in your collection? Uh, I would say 53. Whoa, that's all of Africa, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> that's uh, simply all of Africa. Now, there's a music library in this building, in your name, and it has a, a collection of your music treasures over the years. What does it mean to you? Uh, well, it, it means my whole life work. It's all here, right here in, in the library mm -hmm. of uh, and as you know, uh, many of those are very rare, rare recordings. Exactly. Uh, which are very important. And uh, we've been very fortunate that the University of uh, Michigan is uh, helping us uh, digitize the, uh, the collection. Amazing. And some of these, I mean, these are original recordings. Now, Heather, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, you step in now as the new not music man of Africa, but music lady, uh, music lady of Africa. <laughs> you have gone through Leo's collection. He's a treasure trove. Yes. Uh, what do you think our viewers should know about this collection? Probably that um, when they listen to the radio show, they will always hear one or two songs or interviews of artists that are very important to them as historical figures. So um, I feel that it's really great for us to be able to offer this historical element of African music yeah, for great. African audiences. Exactly. Now, yeah. share with us a little bit, if you can remember, uh, some of your most, or at least one most memorable experience throughout your career, which spans older than I am. Well, the most memorable, of course, is the way uh, I came into the Voice of America, and that is meeting Edward Amaro, the famous pioneer of American television and broadcasting. And the most memorable moment was when he came uh, to my uh, home in Guinea and uh, met, uh, met me and my wife and asked me at that time if I would like to come to work for the Voice of America. Mm -hmm. That's, I, I don't think there's any <laughs> better memory for me. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, Heather, um, as you step in his Leo's shoes, or try to step in those shoes, yes. how would you say his uh, experience, his music uh, collections, and his work here at the Voice of America has enriched your experience, or is likely to really enrich and inform your experience here at the Voice of America? 
Walking into Leo's library is, is like walking into a musical book um, of the entire continent. So I know a lot about African music, but it, it's, it's a never-ending learning source and source of enjoyment because you learn and listen and hear. It's, it's, it's just wonderful. That's, that's the way it enriches me. Well, Leo, I've known you and from the time I knew you. you I saw you come in to work at 2 in the morning. Yes. Uh, and you stay here until 4 or right. 5 the next day. I mean, it looked to me like this was not just work. It wasn't something you were doing to make a living. It was passion. Art and music. Mm -hmm. What finer passion can I have? It's been my entire life. It's from a childhood right up to today and maybe into the future. I'll still be doing my art and I'll be dancing with my music. Right. What else? <laughs> it is passion. And it's amazing because for many people around 65, age 65, mm -hmm. they retire, go home and do gardening or some other stuff. You've been here 91 years now. Yes. And you still have the passion for what you love. It is still, it will go on. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I feel as if I'm just beginning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good. Now, Heather, perhaps you, you just want to uh, share with us a little bit of uh, so far you you've done you've been doing this um, show for a while now uh, what is the vibe what are you getting from the viewer from the listeners I'm getting a lot of love mm -hmm. from the listeners they love uh, Leo they always ask about elder Leo mm -hmm. um, they request music um, they really enjoy hearing their old tunes as well as new tunes mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's a very important show for our African audience. Mm -hmm. Yes. So quickly, what's your message to your listeners and our viewers out there? In a few words. My one message? That we still care about Africa. We care about them. We, we love the African culture. And in turn, of course, we have their love also. And that is the satisfaction of our work. Great. Thank you very much. You have captured the African culture and uh, heritage right here at The Voice of America. Thank you very much, Leo. Thank you very much, Heather. And I wish you uh, many, many more years of uh, that passion in your life. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. That's our show for today. Have a good night. Thank you.